Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of digital chairside implant workflow. This video is part one of a tutorial series. In this video, we focus on setting up the case in the CEREC software to the transfer of the scan data to the CCUT implant software for implant planning. We start in the administration phase and select the indication CEREC guide. The check mark for prosthetic planning is already checked under Restoration Type. Next, we click the appropriate tooth position on the odontogram. The Case Details window appears with information regarding the implant position, the block, and the selected milling unit. The selections can be modified by clicking on the pencil symbol. The case can be discarded by clicking on the recycling bin. We switch to the next phase. The acquisition phase. In this phase, we perform three scans. The image catalog lower jaw is a mandatory catalog, which is indicated by the question mark and the asterisk. The upper jaw and buccal image catalogs are optional. In order to obtain a functional position of the prosthetic planning for the later implant planning, it is advantageous to also scan the opposing jaw and the buccal scan. For information on how to perform scans, Please see our video tutorials with the following titles Full Jaw Scan or Partial Scan with Prime Scan. In our case, we perform all three scans, and next you will see the final image catalogs. Make sure that the scanned area is sufficiently large and contains all areas that are needed to support the guide. The guide can never be larger than the scan area. A smaller guide, on the other hand, can also be generated later in the design phase. It is also important that there are no scan gaps in the support area of the guide, otherwise the guide cannot be calculated. The green check mark indicates that the buckle scan has been successfully performed, and we move on to the next phase, the model phase. In this phase, we are directed to the Set Modal Access step. The CEREC software performs this step automatically and is intended for verification. If needed, you can correct the three views or, as in our case, switch to the next phase, the design phase. The CEREC software automatically calculates an initial design proposal for the prosthetic planning, which we will first look at from all sides. If necessary, the suggestion can be revised using the tool palette. The prosthetic planning is transferred to the CCUT implant software with the export data and is used for optimal planning of the implant position in relation to the prosthetics. In the next step, CEREC guide parameters. The thickness and spacer are already present. Both parameters can be adjusted separately. The thickness parameter is marked with a lock since the 2 mm is a manufacturer recommendation. By clicking on the lock, the parameter is unlocked. Changing the thickness means that the guide is changed in the support area on the teeth. A thicker guide is stiffer and less flexible. You can either move the slider or overwrite the numbers in the window to the left. For example, reducing the spacer results in a tighter fit of the guide. If the spacer is raised, the guide can be attached or removed more easily. Finally, you can discard the change or, as in our case, confirm it by clicking on OK. Next, we switch to the Export Import step. In the window under Tools, we click the Export Planning Data button, which opens the Export Case window. Here, you select the appropriate storage location for the transfer of the planning data. This can be a connected storage medium or a data transfer folder in your own network. In our case, the exported data is imported into the CCOT implant software, so we need the file format SIXD. If you want to export to Galileo's implant, you have to select the file format SSI via the drop-down menu. We click on Export and proceed with the Cydexis 4 software. In part 2 of this tutorial series, we will focus on the workflow form selecting the 3D X-ray data in Cydexis 4 to opening the case in CCUT implant and registering the intraoral scan with the X-ray data.
Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Sarek.